it took nearly four decades, 45 years to be exact. The Arizona State Sun Devils shocked the college football world. That was a game ending play, no doubt about it. But this play here was definitely the play that turned the tide. <laughs> Funny, right? But yeah, it took nearly 45 years for Arizona State to get back to this level. Back to that elite competition. That eliteness that they can compete with anybody. Especially Alabama Crimson Tide. Now you know what? Deontay was on top of the world. Not only did he win a national championship, he won this. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Your eyes are not deceive you. The Heisman Trophy. Now the last time that's been done, it's 1998, Charles Woodson. So Deontay did what any kid would do after winning the national championship. And let's go out and party. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Why would this kid go out and party and celebrate? Hell, what kid wouldn't? Freshman? Win a national championship? Win the Heisman? I mean, what kid wouldn't go party? He couldn't do no wrong. Or at least, at least he thought he couldn't do no wrong. See? Once you reach a successful thing in life, people tend to want to bring you down. And these two here, that's what they tried to do to Deontay. Now, of course, he got an older brother playing in the NFL that thought he had some money. Things went sideways and, you know, cops were called. And that was the end of that party. But you know what? The police came knocking on Deontay's dorm room. Asked him some questions and he told what happened. They asked him if he had a gun. He said, yeah. I mean, if he didn't, I wouldn't be here talking to you because, you know, they were strapped too. So, Deontay do what he had to do. What any kid would do. Protect himself. And that's what he did. Now, a few days hadn't passed. I thought things would die down, but I got a call from Coach and he told me to come meet him in his office. So, that's what I did. Now, I knew what he wanted to talk about. And I was going to keep it 100 with him. Whatever he asked me. Now he asked me tons and tons of questions, and I told him what happened. If I wasn't there to protect myself with my gun, I told him I would not be here talking to him. And being that the father figure he is, he understood that. But at the same time, he didn't want that distraction on his team. So, he made the one decision that he did not want to make. He told me I, I was kicked off the team. And I stormed out of the room, heated, mad. Any kind of anger that you would normally feel, I was that. Now the press conference. <laughs> and now you know reporters wanted to ask about me. But Herman Elp was told him, hey, any question about Deontay, he will not answer. And there's the door. He wanted to talk about this football team and how they going to build on this natural championship run. A bill for the future. Those were the only questions he was going to ask. And you know, <laughs> that room got empty real quick. Now, that following season, Arizona State expectations were at an all time high. After the win of National Championship in nearly four decades, 45 years to be exact, nobody in the college football world expected Arizona State. To the throne, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Now, there was a lot of questions. Will that defense be the same? Where's Deontay? Can they compete with the ACC, the SEC? Question after question after question. You know what? That became a bit distraction to the team. It's the only one four games that following season. And Herm Edwards took the he took the heat for it. He took the wrath for it. Dismissing one of the premier best players to ever put on an Arizona State uniform. I mean, it was question after question. Why would you dismiss a kid like that that had so much talent? If he was a junior, he definitely would have been the first round draft pick. Top five at least. So why dismiss a kid that had so much talent? <laughs> the question remains unknown. 
all right folks welcome it's me create and i hope y'all really really enjoyed that backstory man this kid deontay was <laughs> i don't even know what to describe this kid i mean this kid i had all the talent in the world national championship Heisman trophy winner uh, this is madden 12. i put a poll up on twitter should he be imported in madden 06 07 11 or 12 and 12 won man and so he declared for the draft. He's a registered sophomore, so you are eligible to declare for the draft. So here we are, man. Went through the interview process. Now we at the combine showing off the speed. And his first run is a 4-3-6. That's blazing, man. That is blazing. His second run is a 4-2-9. Now you combine those. It's official. 4-2-9-40, man. It's official time. Now, as you can see, we're going through the tackling drill at the combine. This kid is has the speed, man. He has the speed. Now, we all know he he's definitely one of them ball hawking corners. And if you want to throw that shutdown corner phrase in there, and then hey, by God, go ahead and throw it in there. But this this is the big league, man. This is grown men, so we can see if we can, you know switch size or transition that to the next level so like i say these are grown men getting paid millions of dollars to do their job so hopefully deontay can can hold his own man now um my upload schedule if you follow me on twitter starting march the 9th i'm going to, i'm going to be doing four uploads a week on Mondays, it's the NCAA 14, the Offensive Lineman Rose of Glory Series. Um, Tuesday, it, it, which is this, the Madden 11 Deontay um, Madden 12 Series. Uh, Wednesday is Darwin McCord, you know, Rose of Glory NCAA 11. And the fourth one, I'm not quite sure. I definitely want to do uh, NCAA 11 slash you know madden 11 i'm, I'm kind of going into that ps2 throwback you know phrase of a phase because like I, i've been stressing like outside of my dawkins ain't nobody really doing it so i really think if i put my all into this and have like a really set schedule that y'all can look forward to i don't see why i why i can't hit 100,000 subscribers yes I, i'm i'm sending the bar high for myself so be expecting that and as you can see we gonna went through the combine we had a great combine man um i will put his you know combine numbers right now on the screen now as you can see a 428.40 and a 40 times sh shuttle time at 3.83 a three cone drill 6.83 the bench press is 23 reps that is crazy as hell for a cornerback in a 40 inch vertical man and he's projected as the first to second round draft choice selection. Now he's not six foot one eighty eight. He's six two two oh five. So you add that those numbers to that not that height and weight. That's stupid numbers, man. That is crazy numbers. And I'm kind of glad that you know I was able to come up with a schedule because that gives y'all like something to look forward to rather than you know when is he gonna upload. This is really gonna it, it's benefit for me and y'all. So. And we are third and five with a handoff to Saquon. But yes, that's Saquon Barkley, man. You know, I kind of import. This is Madden 07 going through the All-Star game. Because I don't think any other Madden, I could be wrong. No other Madden has the kind of, you know, an All-Star game where you can import real players and, and do that. So go ahead and decide to do this. And got a, got a few little highlights, man. It's JT Barrett. no. No, 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 you are not catching that, man. You must not hurt the kid. And as you can see, Deontay speed. Now, we all know how fast Saquon Barkley is, man. Look at this 429 speed. You can't teach that. I promise you, you can't, man. He's showing off the speed to the scouts in the All Star game. That's crazy. Now, coming into this game, man, as you can see, he projected the first, second round. So, hopefully, he can live up to their expectations. As you can see, a big punishment. I'm telling y'all, seeing him in college, this kid is not afraid to stick his nose in there. Now, he, he might get, you know, 
<laughs> as we get the interception, man. Y'all see that vertical? He's not afraid to stick his nose in there. He's not always 100% not going to always make the big hit, make the tackle. He has some missed tackles. He get ran over. I mean, what defensive back don't? But as you know, corners, they, they tend to want to be pretty. Deontay is not like that, man. He's basically a, a safety and a corner combined into one, really. As you can see, we're leading 17 to nothing. I just, this is out of kind of off talk. I miss this in old manners, man. I really miss this. As you can see, I'm going to the replay. Now, he got hit really hard and his helmet came off. I mean, why not put that in, in current manners, man? Say, go on, Barkley got hit by, I think, Green. Helmet pop off, man. They don't do that no more. The PS2, or the, it's, it's, it's just like so much they have taken out of Madden. It's just like, EA, y'all just put some of this stuff that was in ps2 into the current gen it's like so much so many people really enjoy madden again and as you can see we nearly get that for the interception man but stay tuned it's not in the, the video we gotta go to through the team workouts so that's what's gonna happen next man now here we are man the first team will give us a workout it's a jacksonville jaguars now madden 12 um, you can't play with the updated rosters. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried, <laughs> I've tried, and every time it just freezes. So we just gonna have to go with the default rosters that's in Madden 12. So you know the Jalen Ramsey and Leonard Fournette, they're not on here. Like I said, that's not gonna stop me, man. And as you can see, we going this, this drill is fairly easy. Now tip on this drill. Now I can tell my rating's gonna be below 80 because if i knew it's above 80 it would be like four or five of these things and it'll be on a harder level so i don't control as far as the level on these drills it just like i just know my brain is gonna be like below 80 i know that for a fact because it's only three of these things normally if it's on if you got an all pro or all madden rating coming into it i mean these things are coming out a lot quicker It'd be like four or five of these dummies. So they go to show you. I know this is on pro as far as the drills. Now the level I wouldn't plan on all Madden. So don't don't come at me like that. I wouldn't plan on all Madden. I'm trying to find some custom sliders to rock with. Now the chase and tackle. We are going with the New York Jets as I give us a workout. New York Jets. Now this is LT. This is towards the end of his career. <laughs> Now, if this was the, the, the young LT, Deontay would not be making these tackles. But as you can see, they want to see him tackle, man. And that's what we, he, like I said <laughs> previously, this kid is not afraid to stick his nose in there. He is not. He, he's a corner and, and a safety. He's a hybrid, a hybrid defensive back. That's what he is. That's what we're going to call him. And like I said, I'm just really excited about this series and really just really excited about my set schedule that I'm gonna have starting March 9th. That's gonna have y'all, you know, get multiple notifications or when I'm gonna release videos. As the third team is Detroit Lions. It's job at best. Now he really didn't have a long lasting career in the NFL. But on here, I know he is fast as hell. Excuse my language. But like I said, the video is winding down, man. I really want to thank y'all. Just give y'all a heads up on the schedule coming March 9th. Give y'all something to look forward to. And I really think that's going to boost me, man. I'm just really having fun doing this. And like I say, man, the draft process is next, man. Who will he get drafted by? That's the big question. It could be anybody. So stay tuned.